Well, while Congress and the NSA try to figure out what to do to address the concerns of their constituents when it comes to spying, it appears the man behind the leaks, Edward Snowden, is growing in popularity among average Americans. Take a look at this poll from Quinnipiac University. 57% of those polled think Edward Snowden is a whistleblower, while 34% see him as a traitor. He has gained international notoriety as a result of his leaks, and it turns out the more information that comes out about the NSA, the more popular Edward Snowden becomes. Also out this week, the Freedom of the Press Foundation announced that Mr. Snowden will be joining their board of their nonprofit organization. It's a group that was started by the man who leaked the Pentagon Papers, Daniel Ellsberg. I spoke with Jesslyn Radak, the National Security and Human Rights Director of the Government Accountability Project, just a short time ago, and I first asked her what Snowden will be doing for the Freedom of the Press Foundation. Well, I think the, he'll be weighing in. First of all, it's a huge, um, a huge uh, symbolic moment that he is uh, participating in civic society in the United States, despite the fact that the U.S. has tried so hard to sideline him. And Freedom of the Press Foundation is an amazing organization because they are trying to foster safe and free journalism that protects both journalists and sources. So I'm sure he has a lot to add to that discussion. So does this mean that he will be remaining involved and participating in future whistleblowing accounts and leaks? Um, well, I mean, in terms of future leaks, he no longer possesses any of the information. All the information he had was given to journalists, and it is really up to them to decide what would be newsworthy and in the public interest to put out. Um, but certainly working with freedom of the press, he would just mainly be helping to make it a more secure environment here in the U.S. for both journalists and sources. Do you think that Snowden's involvement with this organization, this foundation, will hurt his chances of, of earning clemency in the U.S. in the future? I don't think it'll have an effect one way or the other. I'm sure the detractors will try to find some reason to fault him for being on the board of this fine organization, but I don't think it really will affect it one way or the other. Now, it looks as the leaks continue to come out, Americans are growing increasingly supportive of, of Edward Snowden. Why do you think that is? Well, I think it's a number of factors. We have had an avalanche um, of wonderful, supportive news, including you know, an opinion by a federal judge that found the main program likely unconstitutional, including tech giants dressing down the White House and saying that he should be pardoned, including the editorial boards of the New York Times and Guardian saying that he should receive amnesty or a pardon. And I think all of that does shape public opinion in a huge kind of way. And all along, this case has been about 1 percent legal and 99 percent political. Um, and unfortunately, the government has the megaphone and Mr. Snowden's camp does not. Um, New America Foundation just launched another study, as well as a poll that you cited, um, that shows, again, that the information revealed really didn't do anything to thwart a terrorist plot and is likely illegal. Now, Jesslyn, as you say, it is the Congress members and the politicians that have the megaphone. However, with polls like this, with endorsements like the New York Times, do you think that it makes the idea of clemency a more realistic option in the future? Well, I, I think it does. I mean, certainly public opinion influences the one person who can grant an amnesty or a pardon, um, which would be the president in terms of amnesty. Justice Department can grant a pardon. Um, I think it will influence Congress people who are beholden to constituencies that are getting increasingly suspect of what they're learning about the NSA. And Congress is more likely to enact reforms that would bolster um, the disclosures that Mr. Snowden made and that would be seen more politically by their constituents as someone deserving of clemency of some sort. Now, an argument made against Snowden being able to re-enter the U.S. as a free man is that it doesn't offer enough deterrence and it will lead to more leaks. What do you make of that argument? Well, that's the beauty of amnesty. It neither forgives nor condones any of the conduct at issue. 
it simply overlooks it. And that's why amnesty would be particularly appropriate in this kind of, in this kind of case. And moreover, I don't think most people are willing to give up their entire life and their statehood to do what Mr. Snowden did. He has been public, um, punished quite visibly and quite publicly um, more than enough. And that it, the fact that he did what he did um, from somewhere else is because Bradley Manning and Tom Drake and Bill Binney were already a deterrent enough that he could not go through channels. Absolutely. Jesslyn Radak, thank you so much for coming in and weighing in on Edward Snowden's uh, growing popularity here in the U.S. Great. Thank you.